Everybody. welcome back to my channel so in today's video you knew this was coming today I am doing a review try test on the new Fenty bright fix eye brightener you guys knew this was coming everything that Rihanna puts out I have to try it's just a must there's no questions about it I had to do it and that's it. I think that Fenty is giving us a concealer that we can use with the newest foundation, the Ease Drop. So that is what I'm gonna be trying it out with today. Yeah, we're just gonna get right into it because I haven't even opened these boxes yet. I ordered these about two days ago on Sephora. I picked up almond butter and honey mustard just because I was not sure what shade would best suit me. I'm gonna do a, a swatch of both of them and then I'm also gonna try to maybe put one on each side so we can do a little bit of a comparison. Um, I don't think it's gonna look too crazy Crazy because on the Sephora website honey mustard and almond butter looked pretty much the same to me so we're gonna see which one fits better I, I've seen some people around my shade try almond butter but I haven't been able to find somebody exactly my shade I know in my last Fenty video a lot of you were saying that you um, were similar shades or if not the same shade as me so hopefully you guys find this video super helpful because um, I'm gonna be the guinea pig today <laughs> I have both of my Fenty foundations here so in the pro filter hydrating longwear foundation I am the shade 390 and then in the each drop I am 18 so the these work best for me. I do have more yellow undertones, um, so that's why that's why I'm thinking that honey mustard might work the best. Everybody was talking about the packaging. I think this is super cute, but I also feel like this is pretty tiny for $33 in my opinion. So I live in Canada and over here it does retail for about $33. It says it's supposed to be about 10 ml or 0.34 fluid ounces. Um, again with the East Drop it's super tiny so I don't think that you're gonna need a whole lot of this. This is what the applicator kind of looks like. It's like a weird little clear tube situation. I don't want to pump out too much so I'm just gonna do a little bit on my hand here. Ooh, that's a lot actually. This is what the honey mustard looks like and it literally looks like honey mustard, like the actual honey mustard. And that is the almond butter there on the right. So like I said, I have very yellow undertones. So I really think that almond butter might be a little bit too neutral for me. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and, and test that out. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of primer here to start. So now that I'm all prepped and primed, I'm going to, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of my Ease Drop. Again, I am the shade 18. So now that I've just put on like one layer of my Ease Drop foundation, I'm gonna go in and try one of the concealers on one side of my face. So I think I'm gonna start with Honey Mustard just because I'm super excited to see how this one is gonna come out, so. And I don't even know how to use this applicator. I don't know if you put it directly on your face, like what the story is with this. Okay, I'm just gonna put on a couple pumps. Oh, I feel like that is a lot. Oh my goodness, I feel like a lot of this comes out at once. So, I'm just gonna put that on with my finger on one side. Oh my gosh, this is so much. This is a lot. Um, first of all, I think I put on a lot. So I'm just gonna use my sponge to help me blend this in a little bit. I feel like this is just a little too yellow for me on the side. So that is honey mustard on one side. It looks like it's really bright, but once it's blended in, I think it, it kind of comes together a little bit. So on the next side, I don't think I'm gonna put this directly on my face like I did with the other one. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and then apply it with my finger and then blend it in with my sponge <laughs> um, because I feel like a lot really comes out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think almond butter. I can already tell I think I'm liking almond butter a lot more than the honey mustard. There we go. I'm really liking this one, especially because it's nice and light. I'm literally just bending it in with my finger. Um, I'm gonna use my sponge a little bit. Okay. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can tell here on camera, but, but the honey mustard is looking a little bit more yellow, obviously, and I'm really liking the almond butter. 
I can already tell that I'm liking the almond butter just a little bit more. So I'm gonna continue on with the almond butter. And I don't know if I need to add a little bit more, but I'm actually kind of liking both of them. I, But I'm leaning towards the almond butter just because I feel like the honey mustard is kind of bright. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna use my Pro Filter Instant Retouch setting powder here. Um, to set under my eye and see how that looks together with the um, concealer as well. And I don't bake, I just dab it in with the with my sponge. No, I'm liking both of them. And this side definitely looks a little bit more yellow. And I'm just gonna go ahead and complete the rest of my face, probably add some blush, a little bit of bronzer, maybe some lips, and yeah. I'll be right back. All right guys, so I am back, face is all done. And I'm actually kind of liking, I know I'm always like <laughs> hesitant whenever I'm putting on makeup <laughs> on camera, I'm always just like, I don't know how this is looking, but after I stepped away and like fully looked in the mirror, I think that I'm really liking it. In terms of the consistency and like the texture, I'm really liking how lightweight it is on my face. It's definitely pairing really well with the ease drop. I must say, I really do like how it's looking with the um, setting powder, the Fenty setting powder, um, on both sides. I know I was saying before I wasn't sure about the honey mustard, but I'm kind of liking how it looks. I mean, it's supposed to brighten your under eye, so um, I'm kind of liking how honey mustard looks on this side, but I also like the neutralness. Is that even a word? No, the neutrality. I'm just making up words right now, but I'm really liking how neutral <laughs> the almond butter is looking on um, my left side here. So. I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm not sure right now actually how I'm, how I'm feeling, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a wear test for you guys as always. Um, it, currently it's about quarter, actually it's about 10 to two. So right now it's about 1.50 in the afternoon. So I am gonna do a little bit of a wear test and probably come back around um, 7, 7.30, um, hopefully when the light is still out so you can see it in the natural lighting. Um, if not, whenever I come back, um, we'll see how she's looking, how she's holding up. I'll be back in the next couple of hours to check in with you guys. Hi everybody, welcome back. So it is now about 8.30ish in the evening um, and this is what my face is looking like. Um, I haven't set it nor have I done any uh, touch-ups with any powders or anything Thing like that so this is basically what she looks like my thoughts right now I'm definitely really liking the almond butter on my left hand side um, I guess you're right I'm really liking how natural and how flawless it's blending in with my foundation on this side do I think that this concealer is better than the pro filter I am gonna say no I don't think that the two should really be compared in that way just because I feel like they serve two different purposes. I feel like the Bright Fix is more of a light to medium coverage um, as it's advertised as. Yeah, and I just don't think that they serve the same purpose. Um, I still love the Pro Filter just because I think that it is buildable. You don't have to put on a lot for it to kind of do the job. I feel like the Bright Fix is um, something that you'll definitely have to build if you are looking for something to really conceal uh, like blemishes and, and whatnot. I think that you definitely have to mix shades if you wanted to really color correct and probably get um, like a darker shade like the pumpkin um, or like some of the peach shades, anything with like a red undertone to cancel out um, any like hyperpigmentation or blemishes. But as just like a nice concealer um, for days that you don't wanna wear uh, too much makeup or um, concealer. I think that it does what it says it's supposed to do. So uh, with that being said, do I think that you need it in your life? Not necessarily, but um, it is something nice to have in your collection, in your Fenty collection, because it definitely pairs well with the Ease Drop, um, which I think is what it was supposed to do, like I said. So. <laughs> with that being said, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys found this helpful. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions down in the comments below. And also let me know if you guys have tried this product yet already, what colors and shades are working for you. I would definitely love to know. And yeah, I think that's my spiel for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, 
comment and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you guys are notified every time that I post and I will definitely 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 see you guys in my next one Mwah. bye guys yeah.